And I know we have a couple of members who have really tight schedules, but I want to turn to just somebody who is, we did a forum on this last year, and I was, my jaw was dropping the entire time because the, the folks that are out there really fighting to, to make this happen really understand this industry and understand the potential. Uh, so I want to hear from one more before we go to my colleagues, and that is Lewis Rossman, who is the independent repair technician, and he's been a national advocate on this issue. Lewis, please. Has anybody here had to read A Streetcar Named Desire in high school? Okay. Most of you probably got to read the spark notes. You're lucky. So there's a saying at the end of it that Blanche says. It's something along the lines of, I've always relied on the kindness of strangers. And I want to come back to that in a moment. So I have a repair shop in Manhattan that employs 12 people. Most of the people that work here barely graduated high school, did not go to college, did not get amazing grades, yet they are very, very talented at taking a 10-layer circuit board that has thousands of components on it and within five to 10 minutes figuring out exactly what's wrong with it. And these people who are unauthorized, uncertified in every single way, who got C students throughout high school are responsible for us having a better rating than any Apple store in a 20-mile radius on Google Maps and Yelp, which I'm very proud of. Now, many people may wonder, why are we here? If you're, you're already doing very well, why do you need a bill passed? And what most people don't understand is what we have to go through in order to actually be able to provide services to customers. My customers think I go to apple.com slash parts and I buy the chip that I need. I go to their knowledge base and I download a schematic. They have no idea that the schematics to be able to fix their devices come from random Romanian FTP servers where somebody in China took a USB drive off of a desk, risked their job to leak that so that we would be able to get access to that thing that just 20 or 30 years ago was commonly distributed when you bought the computer. Or that the charging chip that goes bad on a motherboard, we don't get to buy that from the manufacturer. What we have to do is there's somebody somewhere who is going to take the stack of boards that are being thrown away because they were not fit for production, take all those boards, chop them up into pieces so that they can get them out, take them out in their clothes, and then sell them to everybody else so that we can get access to a charge chip so that you can pay $200 to get your device fixed rather than $1,500 to $2,000 at Apple. This entire industry relies on the kindness of strangers, and we are asking to be able to rely on something more novel than that, an add to cart button the ability to do what people in every other industry do, which is simply go to a website, source a part, and then purchase it to be able to do what we do. We are electronics repair techs and computer nerds. We're not trying to be Nicolas Cage's character in Lord of War, but that's what it's like to be able to do our job. And many people will come to our shop and say, ask if we can fix a certain device that we have to turn away because there has been no stranger there to be kind enough to make the schematics, the diagrams, and the chips available so that we can fix it. So today, we are seeking the kindness of a different set of strangers, those in the New York State Assembly and Senate. And I hope to get a favorable reading on this bill. Thank you very much.